Ah, good old Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. You're coming out to a very mixed audience. And in my opinion, I think this game is going to be also, if not more, divisive than Gotham Knights ever could be. Gotham Knights was simply misunderstood. It was easy for me to go after those who were basically critics of Gotham Knights when I found out that many of them just didn't care to actually understand what game they were playing. And so that was, you know, interesting to smack them. The arguments were wrong. Many of them were just straight up lying, like White Light, Luke Stevens, Skill Up, who basically said that there were things that were not in this game that were actually in the game. And in some cases, they wanted the game to actually take a direction that the game already took, which was crazy. I mean, this was interesting because Luke Stevens was actually the best in terms of the case study. He said something along the lines of, you know, why is it not possible for enemy NPCs to, you know, be weak to some of these elemental damage? And, you know, you as a player, you can actually have your gear, be able to do those damage and blah, blah, blah. When many of you right now, you're watching a video of me fighting against the freaks who are actually weak to elemental damage, which is cryo, and they use fire damage and fire damage doesn't really do much to them. And all the factions in the game have this same system in them. So this was crazy. You actually could see this if you paid attention or if you were not, you know, mindlessly following what they were saying. And I want to caution people about this mindless, you know, method of actually drawing conclusions in a video game when you haven't necessarily touched or played the game. It's wild because, again, for many, this is very easy to do. Many people allow themselves to be influenced by what somebody else says because somebody has a nice camera, they put some lighting, they put some set dressing. Somehow they equate that to authority. That's not always the case. You, the player, are the best authority on a game that you actually are playing or in a game that you intend to play. You will make the final decision because the game may or may not be for you. And even after I went ahead and actually made, you know, these videos where I basically, you know, discounted a lot of what these folks said, there were people who said, well, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because a lot of other things that they said were true, which was where I knew that gamers sometimes, and I'm not saying all of you can be dishonest and you will play favorites at any cost. And many people don't want to come around to even say we were wrong or we may have been wrong. In most cases, this is why I actually say, let us exercise caution and let the game come out. Let's see what the game is about. Now, this is not to say that your eyes are always lying to you. You could see a game from a distance and say, you know, this ain't going to appeal to me. I get it. I get it. I get it. But it will be hard to draw those conclusions until seeing what the game has to offer. And this is why gaming coverage is one of the biggest on YouTube. You know, people are going to play the game. They're going to be able to share things with you. You're going to be able to gather a lot of opinions in it. But at the end of the day, you will still be the one to make a conclusion for yourself how the game is going to be. I would hate for the DC community to make the same mistake, uh, you know, thinking that, you know, they're pushing back against this thing. But here's what you're going to do. You got to understand that there is nuance in this entire setup, mainly, mainly looking at the way the publisher has pushed the studio who made single player games as their big bread and butter, even though they had made, you know, their live service shooter back in the day. Many of you don't know, but Rocksteady didn't make a riot police game, which had a multiplayer and all that stuff. But it seems like, you know, folks making the decisions over at the, you know, Warner place don't seem to have a stinking you know, inkling of an idea as to what fans want. And, you know, and I just think many of them are just coming in. You know, let me, should I say that? Eh, I'll say it. What I think, and this is my opinion, is many of them are just there to get a paycheck as much as they can and make whatever decisions they think is necessary. But not many of them actually care about the properties from my estimation anyways. I'm not saying this is conclusive. This is what I'm estimating. Because if they did care, I think they would have been able to turn the ship around. Because many have turned ships around for companies that were struggling. And so this is basically the analysis that I'm putting in place. Now, I've never run a big company, so I'm just here to just, you know, talk. I guess I guess if I maybe walk the walk, you can say that, you know, my position is valid. Or maybe the fans and the critics and people who are actually looking at these things probably have some aspects where they agree that this is most likely the case. So their community of gamers, I get it. Many of us want the Arkham style games, but... At the end of the day, you have to look at what is available. There are some times where you just have to take your wins. And if there's something that you just don't feel like, you know, works out for you, you basically abandon. And if you think Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is not a game for you, abandon it. No problem. The Wonder Woman game is in production. 
Many of you sound like this is the end of the whole thing. Oh, no, we ain't never going to get. They're making a single player Wonder Woman game. Follow their Twitter accounts. Follow what it is that they're doing. Ask the developers questions. Be friendly to them. If you want to know anything, be respectful. They'll be respectful to you. They may not say anything because many devs, you know, they go into hiding because they see the way many people are behaving. I mean, the Wonder Woman devs, how do you think they're going to, how do you think they're going to receive the, you know, the feedback from the community? They're going to be like walled out because they're going to see how y'all drag Warner Brothers Montreal through the mud and then you're dragging Rocksteady. Monolith is going to be like, uh, I don't know if we want to do this. So again, let's be sensible and measured we can no problem criticizing but just be aware that as you're criticizing you know what are you actually gaining what is your critique actually achieving is it achieving change is it achieving improvement advancement weigh that very well so that you make very good critiques and so you're not a reactionary knee-jerk uh you know idiot who has a mouse and a keyboard or a phone keyboard or whatever the heck it is anybody's using these days thanks for watching the video peace out